There is one fail-proof way to stand out and drive him crazy without him even realizing it. And in this episode, I'm telling you how. Let's talk about it. Hey ladies, it's Ty Harris of Total Love Makeover, helping the dateless woman revive her love life and snag the relationship she really wants. And on this channel, I give practical advice on how to stand out and attract, date, and keep the man of your dreams. So if you're new here, hey boo, I'm glad to have you. Make sure to subscribe at any point if you wanna know more. Go ahead and check the show notes in the YouTube description box below. Let's do this. So what's the fail-proof way to stand out in conversation, show you're highly engaged, and also display a high level of respect to that guy? Remember ladies, respect to a guy is everything. It's just one simple word. A word that when he hears it coming off your lips consistently, it's going to make him take notice, even if he doesn't quite understand why it is he's noticing you. What is that word? I'm glad you asked. His name. Dale Carnegie cited years ago that a person's name to that person is the sweetest and most important sound in any language. Now, this word understandably may not be his favorite word on the planet, but science shows that a person reacts differently to their own name and they even act more affectionately when their name is used. So how does this relate to dating? Have you ever noticed that when you're talking to a person or in a group of people that your name is rarely used and that you rarely use the names of the people you're talking to, using that guy's name is the easiest yet most overlooked way to stand out to the guy you're interested in. I mean, think about it. You can probably recall a time when an attractive man addressed you by name, sending a little tingle down your neck. You probably even remember how an old flame or crush used to say your name. Why is this? First, we don't hear our names used that often in conversation, and when we do, it's usually during a moment we don't really want to remember. For instance, we may be being reprimanded by our boss or scolded by a judgmental acquaintance. So him hearing his name in general conversation unattached to anything negative is easily a breath of fresh air. Second, when you take the time to address someone by name, they subconsciously equate that to mean they are important to you. So when you make an effort to drop that guy's name in conversation, you are creating a sense of value for him. He won't exactly know how to pinpoint what it is, but there will be something about you that sticks out. If you don't know his name, ask and ye shall receive. I don't think we've officially met. I'm Ty, by the way. You are? I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. I'm Ty, by the way. Boom. Now that you know his name, you can say his name. Say my name, say my name. Now, let me caution you. You don't wanna be a reckless name thrower just throwing it out all the time. You don't have to say it in every sentence. Just naturally drop it here and there. Here's an example. Wait, you've been to Iceland? That's really different, Gary. Why'd you choose there? You see what I did there? Our natural inclination would have been just to skip the name and keep going with the sentence. But by inserting his name, it solidifies your engagement and your interest. You don't have to say his name a million times for this to work because remember, most women aren't saying his name at all. So next time you're around the object of your attention, try addressing him by one of his favorite words and see if he responds to you differently. You better say his name. Well, ladies, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I absolutely love it when you pass this information on. So thank you so much in advance for doing so. Remember, you can have the love that you want. Sometimes it just takes doing something different to get something different. And if you're willing to do the work, then I am more than willing to help you get there. Until next time.